show me Chef Show me the Chef Show me Show me Show me Show me Show me Chef Show me Chef Okay, it's that time of year again when the days are getting longer, the weather's warming up, and we seem to be entertaining a lot more. Today I'm going to show you how to do something very simple, something very nice, king prawn spring rolls. Hopefully you can take this away with you, entertain some guests, have a great time. Alright, for this simple king prawn spring rolls, you're going to need a few ingredients, only a few. We've got some fresh local green prawns, some sauce, coriander, and lime. Okay, with the spring roll pastry guys, it's pretty important that you get a, a reliable brand and I found this one to be very reliable. It doesn't fall apart, it's very durable. Uh, it's the spring home and it's indicated by this orange border, okay? So, right, the first thing I'm going to do is prepare these green whole prawns, all right? These are local, so they haven't been immersed in preservatives. So I'm peeling these prawns, I'm just removing the head and the body of the shell. I really want to keep that tail section on just like you see here. The tail adds to the presentation and it's something for you to grab a hold of once they've been fried. So just remove the head by squeezing and you just flip that middle section off, roll it around, grab that dietary track, remove that. If that gets stuck in there, you can just use a little vegetable knife or a paring knife just to slip down the back there and remove it. Don't want to be crunching on sand and grit, not very pretty. All right, now that we've peeled and prepared those prawns, I'm going to move on to getting a, a dipping sauce. So simply, I'm just going to spruce up a, a standard sweet chili sauce. I'm going to put a bit of lime juice in it and a bit of chopped fresh coriander, so it just pizzazzes a little bit. Simply into a bowl, I'm going to add my sweet chili sauce. I'm going to get my lime and juice your lime into there. Fresh coriander. Just fine. Chop. Okay, now I've got my dipping sauce. I'm going to need some to be dipping the prawns before being rolled, and also I need some dipping sauce for the little presentation platter. So I'm going to put some into there for my prawn dipping action. Some of these are filled for when I present them on the platter, all right? So, all right, the preparation of the spring roll pastry, it's pretty standard, pretty simple. I'm just going to remove it from the packet. I'm going to remove about a centimeter from each of its edges. So one centimeter from each edge. Then I'm going to cut it in half and create two large triangles. So. Now that we've prepared or uh, yeah, prepared this pastry, it's pretty important that you deal with it properly, all right? It does tend to dry out, so if I was to leave it out in the open like that, it may dry and therefore it won't be able to be rolled, all right? So you need to wrap it in a damp tea towel. Just have it stored on your bench, ready for rolling. Also need a little ramekin or a little jar or container of water that's going to enable you to seal your spring rolls. So there you have it, all the prep's done. I've just peeled my prawns, I've got my dipping sauce, I've got a little bit of water, and I have my spring roll wrappers. All right, we're up to the rolling stage. I just need to pull these apart separately. I'm going to have that arrow pointing to the left if you're right-handed, it makes it easier. So peel them apart. And it's easier if you're doing all this in sequence. So I'll peel them and lay them out, then I might place the prawn on, then I may roll them. So sequencing your task makes it more time efficient. All right, now that I've laid all my spring roll wrappers out, pointing to the left, I'm going to just place that prawn spring roll at the bottom. So just a dipping sauce before you place them. Dip. Here we need to roll them all right and then only one tip is that we need to make the base pretty airtight so the oil doesn't get in there and create too much trouble all right so just rolling it over tucking your bottom in like so you get to halfway and you want to fold that over like that nice and tight get to halfway fold it over all right, this is where the container of water comes into action. You only need a little bit of water on the tip of that spring wrapper to seal it. So just dip it in 
and just wrap it around just like so, nice and tight. Dip it in, wrap it around. Dip it in, wrap it around. All right, these puppies all ready, you're gonna deep fry them. 180 degrees, you know, until they sort of become more buoyant. Now you don't have to deep fry them, they can be shallow fried on a stove top in about a half a centimeter, a centimeter of oil. Uh, also electric pans are quite handy because you can regulate that heat on whatever you're familiar with around the, the eight or nine setting. Okay, into the deep fryer basket, just have ready at hand a tray with paper and to absorb that excess oil when it comes out of the deep fryer. Seeps high like the 